Hello to you fine people, this is Jeff with Tom Cannon, and I'm here to tell you about an amazing promotion we are running for the next four weeks. That's right, June 4th to June 28th, you could win a 9.8 slab just by entering fresh from the comic shop, courtesy of the amazing app Whatnot. They are crossed between the live video platform of Twitch and the trusted selling platform of eBay. Here are the rules to enter. You must have a Whatnot account. The link is below, and signing up gets you $3 off of your first purchase. You must follow Comic Book Cannon on Whatnot. And then, guys, it's the same rules we have every week for Fresh from the Comic Shop. Upload your fresh gets to Instagram and tag Comic Book Cannon, also using the hashtag FFTCS. Once again, that hashtag is FFTCS. It's that simple. And you are submitted to win a 9.8 slab. That's right, this is running from June 4th to June 28th, four weeks. Now, we do not accept DMs on Instagram. We do not accept uh, stories as submissions either, so be careful of that. And if this goes well, if this promotion goes well, Whatnot will continue on giving out 9.8 slabs each and every week. So guys, it's on you. Have fun with this, sign up, get us your fresh gets each and every week, and you will be submitted to win a 9.8 slab. Now, enjoy your Canon video. Chris, you got to tell me what's coming up next. Let's go. What do we got? Fresh from the comic shop. Fly from the pressing <laughs> salon. That's right. You all, oh my gosh. This week, this week, guys, has been incredible. We have surpassed our, I think we had 35 submissions last week, and that's submissions we, we brought to air. That doesn't include the ones we did not, your extra submissions. Uh, it was insane to sift through. This week is over 50. Uh, we are very happy to get into it right now because, as you all know, we are this, this is sponsored, and you can win a 9.8 slab. So before we get into the whole segment, we are going to share the slab one more time, tell you how to do it for next week, and explain how this is going to work. That's right. We have a beautiful... 9.8 spider woman number one art germ variant look at that thing that thing is gorgeous what's his name like stanley art germ lee or something like that yep that's um, yep just gorgeous that man. is that is on on behalf of whatnot they're helping they're helping us uh promote fresh from the comic shop we will be giving that away we will decide the winner on tuesday of this coming week and i'll tell you how we're going to decide but first before we tell you how you're going to we're going to decide we're going to explain to you what what not is that is right. What not is an app that Chris and I actually do believe in. We are not bullshitting you. We would not we would not have this part of the show if we did not believe it. It is. What not combines the safe buying platform of eBay with the video component of Twitch. Their mission is to bring together collectors and enthusiasts to safely buy, sell, and connect. Uh, this is just a perfect example right here of somebody winning a Funko Pop. The user interface is incredibly easy. Uh, it's it's it's. Very intuitive, and it's literally like watching eBay, but video is much better than a boring kind of static, you know, uh, auction. So we highly recommend this, and you need to be, you need to sign up for a WhatNot account to win one of these 9.8 slabs. Here are the rules. Chris, I'm going to read them off, and you, you reiterate what I said. Let's do it. You must, you must be signed up to WhatNot. Uh, the link is below in our description. Uh, you must be signed up to WhatNot using our, our code. You must follow Comic Book Canon on whatnot. Uh, and then it's fresh from the comic shop. You post a pic of your fresh gets on Instagram. You tag us. What's the tag, Chris? What's the tag? It's way down there. There it is. Comic Book Canon. And then, Chris, you, they also have to use the hashtag. FFTCS. That is right. And here, guys, this is how we're going to decide winners. From this show, we are going to decide, we're going to pick two finalists. We will post those two finalists for you to vote on on Instagram on Monday in our stories. The way we're going to decide on these two finalists is these three criteria. Presentation of your picture. How beautiful do you make the picture look? Cover, the cover of the actual comic book, and the uniqueness of the actual comic. All of these factor in all of together. This is subjective, guys. That's why, you know, it's going to take some discussion, but our guests each and every week are going to decide one of those winners by the end of the, the segment. So we have Roger here. He's going to be the first one to pick. Once again, presentation, cover, 
and uniqueness of the book. So we're going to get into it right now. Roger, are you ready? That's a lot of pressure yeah. on you. And, and people in the chat, if this is one of your books, I take bribes. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> we we will we will uh, pursue all legal actions. Uh, so don't listen to him on that on that uh, claim. All right, so here we go, guys. Normally I have a fresh get to, but this week again, my daughter's graduation, a lot of stuff going on. So it's going to be Chris and Roger showing off their fresh gets, and of course you guys. So Roger, you are the guest. You are going to show us your first fresh get of the week. The first one of this week. What do you got? What's your first fresh get of the week? All right, so this is. Started a bit of a rabbit hole for me. Um, and I know I might have showed it before, but God, I freaking love this book. Oh, look at that. The Italian version of Amazing Spider-Man. That would fall under... Which, well, we're doing one at a time, Roger. You're breaking the rules. No, this is going to go together. Okay. This is the rabbit hole. Yeah, so this, is the, this is that's the Netherlands, Netherlands, Netherlands version of ASM 3, 300. This that's is the book allowed. that started it. Nice. That's beautiful, man. Here's the deal. I would think, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, that falls under a unique book right there yeah. or books. Those are definitely Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, again, going to the criteria for all of you all uh, that submit your, your Fresh from the Comic Shop entries, definitely unique. But, um, you know, again, like you said earlier, Jeff, it is definitely subjective. So, you know, you guys can play around with the books that you have and submit. And, and you know, we're not limiting you to how many you can enter. It's just that we can only show one off on the show. So, you know, hey, if you get around to hashtagging five, six pictures during the week to submit, we might, you know, we might pick one that could possibly be a little more unique or or whatnot. So, you know, you you have a, a wide range of uh, opportunity to to get absolutely picked, sure. We're going to get into it, guys. I know this is this is the first time we're explaining the rules, so we're taking a little bit longer than we'd like to because we like to bang through segments. This is not going to be a bang through yeah. segments. You guys can take that to another level, bang through, by the way. Don't. Pause. Uh, all right, moving on. Another thing that people normally do is they put two issues in one picture. It's going to be hard to pick a winner from, from that, but we are happy to show off your fresh kits. So a lot of you guys don't even care about the prize. You're just excited to show off your books, which makes this segment so popular. And we really appreciate that. So starting off, we got Caution Comics, Strange Tales, 170, yes. 179. Some recent pickups, some low-grade Strange Tales. One se uh, I'm thinking, a, he says, I'm thinking a 3.0 or a 4.0. And he paid like $25. And he makes it. <laughs> tells you all to support your local comic shop. And you should, 100%. No doubt. Uh, nice. So thank you so much, Caution Comics. That's looking great. Next up, we have Carcamus with Men in Black Volume Volume One, Number One, the first K, the first Z, J, and then the first Z. That is really cool. I have never seen this book before. I know of it, uh, but uh, that is that's really a great get. That to me, that's kind of falls under unique. Ah, uh, and then we have Son of Comics. Thank you so much for all of your submissions. We brought this one in right here. Damnation, Johnny Blaze, Ghost Rider, Number One. Uh, signed and sketched by Clayton Crane. Clayton Crane is badass. This one is amazing, guys. This, this, I mean, it could win. It could win. Peter versus comics. He showed us <laughs> a GCW box. He said, if apparently <laughs> you're getting Canada, I was able to pick up one of these for a decent price today. They're like ghosts lately. This is a funny one for Combo Cannon, fresh from the comic shop. Give these guys a follow and check out their YouTube live stream. Thank you so much for their <laughs> shout out, Peter versus comics. Guys, yeah, like this, like this video, subscribe, subscribe to Three Men in the Basement. We got a whole link of great content creators below. Uh, we got Basement Brothers Collectibles. Uh, as he says, underrated spec, Fantastic Four, 319, picked it up for $2.50 on eBay. Origin story of the Beyonder, possibly the second most powerful being in Marvel Comics, and the one above all is, is stronger, in my opinion. Beyonder is the major driver for the Secret Wars. Also, it has him and Doom battling on the cover with the cover appearance of Molecule Man, another highly powerful reality warping character in Marvel Comics, totally underrated and undervalued, in my opinion. That's a lot going on there, but yeah. I love this Ron Friends cover. I love Ron Friends. Uh, and we'll show one more before we get to yours, Chris. I love this, guys. I love this one. Uh, PH Comics 1. First appearance of Star Lord, Marvel Preview presents. Uh, that's honestly, man, this thing falls off, and then they bring in another Guardians of the Galaxy film that picks up again. But I, I really, really do enjoy that uh, that book. Uh, thanks so much for that one, PH Comics One. Chris, fresh get of the week. What's your first one? All right, my first uh, pick was an AOK -okay 
So uh, I I showed it off on my live stream earlier, but I got, I got to show it off as a fresh get because I'm just extremely humbled. Uh, my oldest son is a big fan of uh, Miles Morales, so this is going to go on display in his room. It is a uh, Spider-Man by Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 25, mm. the uh, comic mint uh, exclusive variant with the uh, UF4 cover swipe, 9.8 EGS slab with the custom label. Beautiful. Big shout out to uh, EGS president, Tony Trum Trumbetta for uh, sending these this book to me as an A-OK. -okay. Truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, Tony sometimes is watching the show. I don't think he's here tonight, but hopefully he is seeing this on the rewind. This is just absolutely amazing. My son was, was psyched. So uh, we're going to put that uh, in his room. Certificate of Authenticity with Greater Notes. Guys, That's a big badass cover, man. shout out to EGS. That's fantastic. That cover yeah. is absolutely fantastic. And again, the presentation of EGS, uh, you know, I like what they do. And I like what they're about right there. All right, Roger, I hope you're paying attention to all these books, man, because you I are am, going man. to be the judge, jury, and executioner. That makes no sense here. You're just the judge. I'm just the uh, judge, man. But you will be choosing one book from these submissions here. Uh, and we're going to get back into it right now with, who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, good friend Michelle, a.k.a. Moonlit Comics. Another day late, hashtagging for First Appearance Friday. But I couldn't wait to share this one. I scored myself a grail yesterday, an affordable mid-grade copy, but still an absolute badass piece of comic history and all mine. To a Dracula, issue one, the first appearance of Count Dracula in Marvel Comics based on Bram Stoker's 1897 Dracula novel. We also have the first appearance of Frank Drake, a descendant of Dracula. Now, this is this is interesting. Y'all should know this, especially um, with comic book history, and I'm glad she put this in here. Until 19, 1971, supernatural monsters like vampires, werewolves, and zombies were banned by the Comics Code Authority. The Comics Code was revised in 1971 so that monsters with literary merit could be used in comics, hence the debut of Count Dracula in the 72 series. Guys, they also wouldn't allow couples to sleep in the same bed or people to use drugs or anything <laughs> else like that. It was garbage. It, they sucked. And I'm glad that Stanley, I, you see those issues in the, my background. Uh, Stanley did that three uh, issue arc, the 97, 90, 96, 97, 98 of amazing Spider-Man where they did, the government asked them to do uh, drug issues. Uh, the government was like, or you know, the common code is like, no, you're not getting these labels on here. If you do these drug issues and Stanley's like, Screw off. I'm, we're going to do them anyways. And they were the first issues not to have the Comics Code Authority on them. People were like, yeah, why do we have this shit on here anyways? All right, moving on. Yeah, that Thank was a great cover, comment. man. That's an awesome Neil Adams cover. I oh, love that. Oh, beautiful. Book, Look man. at this thing. Look at yeah, that. They did it. Carnage did a cover swipe it at me. It looks just mm -hmm. as awesome. By the way, that's our judge right there. And he's 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 giving props. So that's, you know, the saying. All right. We got Half Court 757. Batman Ooh. 108. I do believe this is a variant. And I'm not sure who it is, but I am. Loving this this variant here, especially with the neon going on in the back. She's just a cool looking character. A lot of people are giving her shit. I, I think she's great. I, I really like this character. I haven't read the issues yet. I'm on 106 or 107. I can't remember which, but I'm liking the run by Tinian, guys. I'm liking the run. All right, Nukes Comics. Thank you so much for your submissions. This is just one of them. Another more, another Miles, uh, another Miles cover. I really enjoy. I picked up this copy, this copy of Miles Morales Spider Man issue 24 from Zeus Comics. It's got a great cover by Torin Clark. And an appearance by Kamala Khan. Great action and story. All right, before we get into Roger's uh, second get of the week, we got Comic Ozzy. Here we go. Minty Fresh. When 129 gets out of range, you look elsewhere. Kitty Pride, a.k.a. Sprite. Also, Wolvie's new duds in a tie into Alpha Flight with Heather Hudson. Hoping one day Alpha Flight will make it to the big screen. We all are hoping that for that as well. Uh, by the way, that's a great example of presentation there, guys. Uh, I am liking how Comic Ozzy has presented his book. All right, Raj, what is All your right. second fresh get of right. the week? So this one um, came in the mail late last week. I want to show these first. Have you guys ever seen these? We had a vendor selling these at our swap, and it holds a top loader for my second book. Oh, nice. This is a sketch from Ron Leary Jr. He didn't have time to finish it uh, at the show, so he took it home and Added a whole shitload of cover and stuff uh, for the same price I paid for a sketch. Oh, that's beautiful, oh, wow. man. And that, that is, is if you go beautiful. on his uh, Instagram page, you actually, he has like a video where he, you know, like fast forwards it and he shows how he's paint. He's actually using paintbrushes and touching up all the white and making like the zipper and 
absolutely oh crushed it. And now I have this cool little frame to hang it on, so I don't have to worry about. That frame is awesome, man. It, it's it's, yeah. so it's nice and light. It's, it's very like you barely see it. And, and he had them for slabs too, but I, you know, my biggest problem is I have a couple commissions and I have them in frames, and I just don't like the way they squish up against the glass. You know. Yeah. This is nice. It's in a top loader. It slides right in. You can screw this thing to the wall and then ch ch and change the top loaders over and over. You know. And this, but, uh, this sounds corny, but it's it's also got like it, it's like the, the 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 clear plastic, whatever, fine. But this gives you like a rustic look that you may yeah. be going for in your living room. Like you put that over a fire. Well, you wouldn't put that over a fireplace, but you get what I'm saying. I'm, like I might. Don't judge well, me. If you have enough protection there. <laughs> it's really cool looking though. I really. That's a great idea. We we should get that information. And put that yeah. out here. Maybe have them on the show one I day. I mean, look how it's so simple. There's two holes in the back, so you can screw it to the wall. That's so cool, man. I love that. I love that way better than slides. The yeah, it slides right in. Oh, I'm in, man. I, I need those. So I bought I two of them, and now I just got another sketch from Sketch Card Girl from Instagram. Now I'm going to have to get some more of those. That's fantastic. That, uh, Ron Leary Jr. absolutely knocked it out of the park. If you guys go back to our channel, we actually did an interview with him. Friday night before the New Hampshire Comic Con uh, or the New Hampshire Comic Show that we all went to, uh, old school comic show, and he was, we were in the hotel lobby. They gave us a place to set up our thing. They gave us power. They gave us internet. They really hooked us up. And that's where you would mention the interview with uh, Jim Shooter. With Jim Shooter, we also interviewed Ron Larry Jr. and he showed us a bunch of commissions that huh. he was working on. Was, yeah, he was a great guy too. Now the channel you're talking about is that Three Men in a Basement. Three men in the basement. Man. Is that possibly the link that we have below that everybody I, should subscribe? I believe to? it is. Yeah, yeah. It looks just like that this. Easy. That easy. If you want great content, <laughs> subscribe. Do it. But moving on, some more great content is your guys' fresh get. And I mean, like guys, sometimes life isn't fair, right? We all hear that. You know, so a lot of us have kids, and we have to teach that lesson. And you know, Azores Tiger from Spine Ticks, aka Eric. It just he just honestly each and every week, guys. It's not fair for the rest okay. of you. It really isn't fair for the rest of you. And as he says, first off, who doesn't love a good date stamp? As you can see that, he's got the there's a date <laughs> stamp on the X. He's into that. I'm addicted to finding nice copies of older books with date stamps on them now. Got tagged by the fam, PJ Moore, 72, and Moonlit Comics. Michelle, you got a shout out. FaceTime Comics for First Appearance Friday. So my late post for this one, I'm going with X-Men 28. First appearance of Banshee, father of Siren, and cousin of Black Tom Cassidy. He tagged that as fresh from the comic shop. Eric, again, you crush it each and every week. We should never doubt you, and I don't think we do. Uh, Toys and Blashes with Amazing Spider-Man number 31. That classic cover, if this be my destiny. Just outstanding cover. Uh, we got, by the way, I'm just prefacing this right now. Cover Junkie Comics, he loves his Doctor Doom covers. And this one is no different. <clears throat> fresh from the comic shop, another Doom cover. What if Secret Wars number one? Always, each and every week, we are happy to see Cover Junkies Doom covers. Most of the time. He doesn't do it each and every week, but uh, most of the time. Macross Plus Comics. Uh, fresh from the comic shop. Uh, two copies of Ghost Rider 31. Dr. Voodoo, The Origin of Jericho Drum. Dr. Voodoo, Avenger of the Supernatural. Number one. That is some fresh gets right there. Uh, we also have Dave Collects. Yeah, yeah. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Check him out down below. He has his link there. Uh, but this is honestly, Riri's gonna blow up, guys. She is next. Kamala's coming. Riri's next. Get on it right now. I like this one right here. Third appearance of Riri Williams, aka Ironheart, found it at the local comic shop over the weekend and couldn't pass up for cover price. And AI Tony Stark can't go wrong. The infamous Iron Man is blowing up. Why not? Why not, people? All right, last one before we get to Chris. Roger, he's keeping track, guys. Roger is keeping track. He will announce his winner tonight. All right, this is Mary EC3. Oh, happy day. I have to say thanks to J2 Amir 3Z. That's a Instagram handle. And the low grade guys for putting this prize up for Spine Ticks 750 subscriber giveaway. Guys, as always, Sith Lordly, this is your Spine Ticks winner showing off at Fresh from the Comic Shop. I love the synergy. I'm happy to be the new owner of this beautiful copy of Amazing Spider Man number 362, second appearance of Carnage. Thanks to all who were involved in that hilarious seven-hour-long show. <laughs> Sith Lordly, the Butcher, Matt Ford, <laughs> the Comic Ford, three men in a basement gets a shout-out as well, and all else involved. Too many to remember. God, they put on a hell of a show, those guys. All right, Chris, it's a marathon. Your, it's not a show. your second fresh get of the week. What do you, oh, 
That's not Raj. Yeah, that is that Chris. Is Raj, actually. That's, that's that was Raj. Raj. But we got we want Chris. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I got a book. I got a book. Um I said I would like to have this character's first appearance, but it's gonna be out of my price range. So I always talk about the next best things, second appearances, cameos, you know, that type of thing. So I went with the second appearance of this character. Uh, I think this character is going to pop again. I, I think we're going to see this character in the MCU uh, for real. <laughs> and that's tells us, tells us suspense 54, the second appearance of the Mandarin. I think we're going to see the real Mandarin in the MCU that's sometime for sure. in the near future. No, it's going to happen. It's for sure. It's definitely going to happen. And I'm sorry. I, I got called out for for pronouncing it wrong, and I can't remember how to pronounce it. Shang Chi, Shang Chi, Shang Chi. You know. Uh, you know yeah. what? Can I speak to that? Go for you it. Know, qu quite honestly, depending on and if there is any people that are from this culture, I apologize. But to my understanding, because I've done research about this, the word Shang or Shang is actually pronounced differently depending on what region you're from. Mm, okay. Because they and they speak multiple different languages, and some of the words are very similar. So, um, if you pronounce it Shang, I don't think you're technically wrong, depending on what the uh, pronunciation, the cultural pronunciation for the character actually was, whenever they created it. I mean, yeah, honestly, it's either way though. It's he, that that character's coming. Uh, yeah. So, all right, we're moving on. To go ahead. Uh, sorry, I was muted. If you're being ripped for the way you pronounce that, people are overthinking it. I think so too. And honestly, <laughs> for other people, uh, I like how Voice and Jack says it's pronounced Shang Chi. That's not That's phonetically it. spelled, but I, I, yeah. Anyways, I just want to be respectful. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm acknowledging that maybe it, it could be offensive to people. Somebody yeah. pronounces something. There's a, definitely a possibility we will say pronounce something wrong if it's in a language that we don't speak. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not the only one. Sith Lordly too. He says Shang, like bang. Uh, all right. Anyway, we're not going to get into this right now. Uh, well, here we, here we go with more your fresh gets. Raj is keeping track. Here we got best core. Uh, one, did a, did nice, he says. Nice. FYI, price tags were more than 50% on all these books. I see a lot of G.I. Joes. Guys, G.I. Joe feels like it's under the radar, even though the books are quite expensive. But you got Snake Eyes ne coming out next month. Next month. Uh, you got that Marvel Comics Presents number 72. That book, God. I wonder what that's 50% off of because uh, you, you probably made out well. Some nice um, Bronze X-Men there as well. Uh, I see Copper Batman. Looking good, man. That Best Core 1, that is, that's a great pickup right there. Thanks for sending those in. Guys, here's what I love. I, we started seeing this recently. Showing your face, Raw Dog Comics, man. Fresh from the comic shop. I'm a huge Alien fan, and this is by far my favorite cover. Keep doing it right. We love your show. We love that you watch our show, Raw Dog mm -hmm. Comics, and participate in Fresh from the Comic, and that is comic shop, and that is a beautiful Aliens cover. Uh, really that appreciate a, get that. that guy a lamp or something, you know? What's that? Get that guy a lamp. He does. Yeah, honestly, your lighting <laughs> could be improved, but maybe he's going dark and moody, Roger. Oh, it could be. It's an that. aliens book. I, I apologize, no. Raw Dog Comics. Who am I to critique <laughs> your artistic integrity? I completely apologize Sassy over here. For so God. sorry. I hey, apologize. Jesus. I'm anyways, sorry about that. <laughs> Huey Plata. Here's my fresh from the comic shop. Uh, here's something. Got, I, I'm allowing it this time, but I'm calling it out. Fresh from the comic shop. Um. Not super fresh though. I actually bought this when it came out. That's not fresh from the comic shop, but it's a great looking cover. So we applaud that. But I'm not doing this again. If you if, if you said, oh, I got this months ago, but I want it for fresh from the comic shop, guys, it's got to be recent. You, you, you're selling yourself out right there. Ah, uh, I love this name by the way, E Marvel. Such a great name. Ah, uh, <laughs> Batman: The Adventures Continue, number five. Ooh. As he says. One of the best and most underrated runs in comics right now. Chapter one directly ties into the world's finest crossover. Was a good move. This immediately allows Dini and Burnett to play with this time period before Justice League is only Batman and Superman know each other. So that is some fun, fun stuff. In Marvel, you always crush it each and every week, and we really thank you for participating as well. We could not do this, guys, without you guys sending these fresh gets in. You guys crushed it this week. Uh, maybe it's because we're giving away a slab, but it's fun anyways. Yeah, it's sure. sponsored by Whatnot. 
Check out the app, guys. We're going to go through that one more time, how you can win a 9.8 slab next week again. Uh, all right, Vinny Whitlock, each and every week. He's up there with his Azores Tiger. Fantastic four number, 25. Uh, oh. he, th he thinks it's a 3.0. What a mail call today. Great price and shipping from Canada. Another can It's another yeah. time to Canada. Love it. I'm extremely excited. Wow. I'm extremely excited and happy to have this book still in this belief. Great pickup, I, man. I do believe. I do believe that's the the second Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Oh, get at that! Wow. Okay, confirm that in the chat, people, please. Good friend Dan De La Torre. Honestly, he brings the heat as well. He's up there. Look at this, guys. Last week it was Strange Tales 109. This yeah. week it is Strange Tales. 110, first appearance of Doctor Strange on this week's Fresh from the Comic Shop. It's cool to have the first appearance of a founding member of the Defenders. And as we all know, Dan De La Torre loves his Defenders. No doubt. All right, Voice Inject. They sent in Avengers Terminatrix objective number one. Really appreciate that. All right, Roger. Your third Fresh Get of the Week. What do you I'm, got, I'm, man? How many, you, more, how many more books do you have to show off? I have none. I'm like, I'm, no, I'm talking oh. about the, that entered the contest. We told you, uh, we're looking at about 15 to 20. <laughs> we're getting okay. through them. All right. So my third book, I got two days ago in the mail. Um, I'm pretty stoked about it, not only because he's coming, but I don't own a lot of Silver Age stuff. It's not it's not my, uh, my wheelhouse of collecting. Um, so I'm pretty excited to have that. Oh, oh, oh. You would be a contender. You wow. would be a contender if you were eligible, but you are yeah. a judge. I guess you could pick yourself. Nice. You get a lot of heat for that. Yeah. Wow. Look at that guy. Oh yeah, my God. I mean, it's what, lower what? grades, probably a three, two and a okay. half, three, something like that. Um, got some tape on it and stuff, but uh, I will be sending this out shortly with a couple other books that I had to get graded and, and put in a minty fresh lab. That is honestly, Rob. Very happy to have that. Congratulations. That's an amazing, that's a great pickup. Such a classic book, even before all the news of Kang coming to the MCU. Uh, yeah. I, super happy that you, you got that book. That's fantastic. Uh, all right, moving on to more fantastic books as well. We got Comic Noob with Astonishing Ant-Man 110, or I'm sorry, Astonishing Ant-Man 10. I still got 110 on the mind from Dan De La Torre. Uh, Jenny Frizen, uh, very, couldn't pass on the price, as Comic Noob said. That is a beautiful looking cover. Thank you for sending that in. Uh, we got Green Lantern Comic Collector. Uh, as you can see, he loves his Green Lantern. Uh, but that is a smorgasbord of DC books right there. And the pick is a little bit too small for me to make most of them out. But all fresh gets, as we can see from that picture. Matt Stampa, more fresh gets here. Oh, by the, oh no, you know what? My bad. We're going to go back to Green Lantern because he had some uh, – pick these up from my poll, except Green Lantern 35 via mail. Thanks to A1 in – A1, Chris, in Roseville. Uh, RWBY number one and Variant 2, Justice League 61 with Variant and Variant 62. Green Lantern 3, Variant Silver Age, Green Lantern 35, first appearance of the Aerialist, and my favorite crime syndicate for Variant with John Stewart. Good stuff. All right, Matt Stampa, here's this week's Fresh from the Comic Shop. That's the finish of my Gleason collection. Just because it's so iconic. So a 9.8 and Amazing Spider-Man 55. And thanks to Journals for making me remember my childhood. Those are Uncanny X-Men 244, 256, 282, 283. All on newsstand. Of course, I have to throw in some silk with that trade. And that's a lot of stuff going on. Good <laughs> stuff, though, Matt Stampa. Uh, I don't know why Chris is in back. Chris is hiding from us. Uh, all right. Spider Web. Today's mail call, daughter's birthday gift. I, I mean, what? I don't know what version this is, but it's awesome, <laughs> is what it is. It is awesome. Uh, good friend, Union Josh Comics. Amazing Spider Man 315. First cover appearance and second full appearance of Venom. I was so stoked to find this in the back issue bin, and apparently it had only been put in the box the day before. Uh, so, shout out to my local comic shop. That is a, that's a classic McFarland cover, guys. Uh, we got Nerds Being Geeks. I'm liking this right here, guys. Nerds being geeks, Doctor Strange okay. 171, nice. some Silver Age Roy Thomas goodness from 1968, picked up on a Facebook claim sale for my local LCS, Rad Raptor. I like that name for an LCS, guys. I do like that indeed. Um, all right, moving on. We have Sicilian Comics. This is, this is unique, guys. This is absolutely unique. This is Luomo Ragno, number 19. Uh, facts, Italian reprint of Amazing Spider-Man number 23, and it was published in January 
of 1971, Sicilian Comics, 1998. I love this book. He had a, he had a few other uh, fresh guests that were uh, from Italy, I do believe. Uh, but man, you always you bring some really unique ones each and every week, and we appreciate that greatly. You participating in that. All right, Chris, you're a last fresh get of the week. It's not going to top Rogers, by the way, but <laughs> unless he's got a better grade. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. What do you got? Well, uh, it's another book that I got because. I'll probably never be able to afford the first appearance. Now, it's not a second appearance, though. It's something else, and it's kind of fun because it's a Golden Age character making their first Silver Age appearance. It's another Tales of Suspense, and it's number 65. Wow. The dude. first Silver Age appearance of Red Skull. Oh, that's a great book, dude. That is a you owe these tales of suspense. I know you're into them big time, and each and every week, it just it fascinates me the ones that you bring, especially the ones that have this kind of significance with the first Silver Age appearance of the Red Skull. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. By the way, we also got confirmation that that book, um, it was the second fight between Hulk and Thing, as well as the second appearance of Cap in the Silver Age. So you were right, Chris. Cool. Um, all right, moving on, guys. Uh, that is all we got for fresh gets of people on camera. Now we got to get to you guys because we got a decision to make, and this is not going to be easy for Roger. He is he is going to be the first one deciding uh, the winner or the finalist of finalist, the, right. the finalist of Fresh from the Comic Shop. The finalist, one of two. Chris and I will decide the other one over the weekend. All right, we got Tommy Boy Collections. I love this cover. This is a classic cover. Uh, Wolverine Wednesday, another one from when I was a youngster in the '80s. Is that that may be a Frank Miller cover? I'm not sure, but that was during definitely during the time. Um, I love this story too, guys. This is a great story. M cast nine ten. Sunday was my birthday, and I went to my local comic shop today to pick up new releases and back issues from Brian at Phil's Comics. And this was at the bottom of my stack of books when I got home. Nice. That is a beautiful story. Props to you, uh, uh, Brian at Phil's Comics. Uh, Brian and Phil's Comics. That's freaking great. I love it. Digidark Comics. The collection grows. Shout out to Cabalt Comics. And when you visit them, tell them DigiDark Comics sent you. Uh, this is a beautiful Silver Age Batman book. Loving this cover, guys, by the way. Wise Guy Collectibles, the name as well. Uh, rings true. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles nice. exclusive nice. variant. I, Lee, In Hawk Lee, I do believe. That's a really nice looking cover. Um, here's another one, guys. Here is another one. We get to see your beautiful face out of print collectibles. Uh, as he says, sexy. One down, 16 more to go. Uncanny X-Men 12, November 2013. 150 Emma Frost. Uh, Milo Menera, retailer incentive, variant covers. Starting to collect the Milo Menara's variant covers. Just love how he put his own twist on the Marvel characters. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff indeed. Um, Roger, read you loud and clear, buddy. Ah, Neil Floyd, 79, Batman 108 books I got from a blind bundle sale and a nice price from L. Jim G's Comics Cavalier. Those are all the uh, same issue? They're just variants? All same issue. They're all Batman 108, all variants. I see the Federici one there, and I don't that's know the sure. other ones. But that's a nice pickup, man. Those are some great fresh get. All right, we got Flap Slap Jr. Love the name. After a comic oh, shop run to Doom London. Cover. I had to pick this up as I love the cover, Dr. Doom and X-Men, What's Not to Love. I believe that's John Byrne, too, and I love me some John Byrne. Good stuff, Flapjack. Flap, Slap, Junior. Uh, we got Gus, 420, and X. He's got uh, the first full appearance of New Warriors and Introduction to Squirrel Girl. That Thor is Ron Friends again. Loving me some Ron Friends. Geek Stock Collectibles. And he's a Yinzer, by the way. He's from Pittsburgh, and he said he's a Yinzer. Three great covers from Fresh from the Comic Shop. Loving the Joker series, and this might be my favorite cover yet. Picked up my son's favorite for him, the Miles one, since he's hunting the run with cover by one of the favorite artists in Hyuk Lee. And rarely grab a random issue just for the cover, but love this Black Panther Gleason yeah, cover. I iconic. Love that I love that one. I have that one yeah. coming in the mail for me. Disney Family Collectibles. Haunted Mansion number seven. Slave okay. Labor. One of our absolute favorite rides at Disney. This one is staying in the PC. I love that. And honestly, I love the Haunted Mansion as well. Yeah, the ghosts. Awesome. awesome. Love it. All right. 
Way, mm -hmm. Ways Comics. X-Men number one. Look at that. Classic. I have to say that's classic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got Pop Culture Addiction. X-Men 129. Happy to grab a mid-grade first appearance of Kitty Pride and Emma Frost. Can't remember who tried to grab who grabbed her second appearance, but there's the first. Uh, we got Wands Ready 88, New Arrival, the yes. man called Nova number one. Great character that could be explored a number of ways in live action. And it will be. We yeah. have Feige said. He, he said Novas are coming is basically what he said. Uh, so that, that's confirmation, Chris, if if I'm correct. Am I right? <laughs> yep. uh, Specs.men. That feeling you get when you when the random late night CGC auction ending soon as search purchase from a month ago hits. I saw it as a Kirkman title with a super provocative cover. Figured it was worth a gamble for less than grading cost. Also, whatnot comics, whatnot approve me as a live seller, please. See if we can get <laughs> them for you. But that that book is rising, rising, rising. No doubt about that. All right, almost done here. AZ Mailman, my submission for a fresh from the comic shop this week. The first three releases of Hellfire Gala connecting cover set and an idea I'm liking more than I thought I would. Uh, those are some nice looking covers. Absolutely. Yeah. Love it. Looks like they're on a step and repeat of some sort. Really cool. And the last one, good friend Ian from Team Nerd Herd. Hood Rat Comics, my bouquet of new comic book day. Oh, that that. Nice hustle. Books for the, the, the comic read. shop for the homies over at Comic Book Canon. Their show is every Friday. Make sure to check it out. And you guys need to check out Team Nerd Herd. Their link is down below. I see your promise me darkness. The nice house on the lake. Firepower. Loving firepower. You got that, uh, the, the Star Wars. Um, Boba Fett variant, and I don't know what the other two are, but that is that is great. And that right there, guys, concludes Fresh from the Comic Shop.